They just really want me to like Taco Bell again. They come out with new stuff, it seems like, every other day at this point. But Taco Bell just dropped their new Decades menu they're rolling out. Now, apparently, this is something they're doing from the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. And there's stuff coming out like every other week. So if you don't like Taco Bell, you're going to be really upset because we've got a lot to cover. But we have the first batch of the new Decades menu we're trying out today. So drop a thumbs up and you guys are ready to notify Let's get into this video. I'm not going to hold you out, man. This one's probably the dumbest one for me. This is their tostada. For me, it just doesn't make sense. But I got it anyway look we're just gonna do everything it comes with beans the red sauce cheese and lettuce and since i don't like lettuce this is ridiculous so this is what it looks like when you take the lettuce off of your tostada now um, there's no meat on this it's just straight up beans which doesn't really sound that good to me but that's a lot of beans man this gonna have you on a turlet It feels to me like a stripped down version of the Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza has all these ingredients. If you switch the red sauce for the Mexican pizza sauce, they're pretty similar. And then you add a couple more ground beef and add just like a tostada on the top. I feel like this is like an older thing they made a more of an improvement on. And while this isn't bad for what it is, it's really just a bunch of beans and cheese. I don't dislike it. It's just a lot of beans. Other than that, I prefer the Mexican pizza. This costs $2.99, though. The Mexican pizza is $5.19. Me not eating lettuce, and I agree, because I know there's some people that think that it makes it dumb for me to get this. But it, it's Taco Bell very much. There's no new ingredients in any of this stuff. So if you like Taco Bell, you're going to like it. If you don't, you won't. It's pretty much the same thing that you always get. This isn't for me, though. I'll give this a 4 out of 10, but... It doesn't necessarily taste bad. It's just missing everything that I would want from Taco Bell and then taking the stuff that I do not really care for. Next up, we have the green burrito, and this costs $2.89 as well. It's the biggest thing that I've gotten from here so far. So it's a smaller size burrito, but a good size for a burrito. Um, I'm afraid to tell people what's in here because it's literally a toilet. So it's got their green sauce, <laughs> onions, beans, and cheese. And judging by the weight on this, it's mostly beans. For people who don't know, I used to do eating challenges, and I had a bean burrito from Taco Bell that was cold, and it turned me off from Taco Bell's beans for a very long time. But at least I'm coming back around. Let's try it. That is a lot of beans, man. Look at that. Adding those little onions in here. I feel like the way I'm eating this, and that's why I keep biting it, is I can't get any of the green sauce that's in it. There it is. It kind of tastes like a watered-down salsa verde. Um, Not much else to this. Again, for me, it's hard to get over the amount of beans that's in here. This is from the 70s in their decades lineup. Listen, if I had sideburns and a giant afro back then, I'd have said this is a jive turkey or some shit like that because I don't too much beans for me, bro. This gives a two out of ten. I cannot eat this many beans. Apparently, Taco Bell in the 60s with a tostada and in the 70s with their uh, bean sauce burrito. They really liked beans back then. Whoa. From the 80s, we have their Mexamelt. Now, their Mexamelt has pico de gallo and beef and cheese. That's it. And they roll it up and it costs $2.99. You know the thing I'm getting from Taco Bell after doing this? I feel like they've been playing Mad Libs for decades. I know there's probably some of you out of young... Oh, here's what a Mad Lib is. Sorry. A Mad Lib it was a thing that they used to have that was basically a, a story with blanks in it. So you could change the whole trajectory of the story by adding blanks. So it would say, like, you know, King went to the blank, and it would put, like, a verb or, like, place. You have to put place in there. So you could put, like, park or zoo. And then he went to the blank and then you could put so you just filled in the blanks and then you could make a whole different story i feel like taco bell plays mad libs because it's literally like the same seven ingredients and they just switch them in and out they've been doing it for decades and that's what i'm getting from the decades menu just like most things the 80s is dope the older i get the more i have an affinity for the 80s i just I feel like as I got older and started watching more 80s stuff, it's a whole generation of stuff that I knew nothing about that I thought was just really cool. They had their own weird swag and fashion and stuff they did. 
and as a horror movie fan, really dope. Just like this. I know it seems simple, but adding that pico to this beef and cheese, nothing else, gave it a different vibe than I was getting from the rest of the stuff with the flavor from the pico. Because pico usually doesn't go on a lot of things to Taco Bell. It's like a whole different thing. Dish of hot sauce. I feel like it's overpriced at $2.99 because it's not that different. It's just is like ordering a soft taco and putting pico on it, which to me should be no more than like $2 at the most, which is still expensive. It seems a little wild to me, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't like it. I also got, in this version, a Mexamelt, but I put the chicken in here this time because I like the chicken. So I did the chicken just to see on one of them. That's the one. I feel like it's overpriced, bro. That's the only thing. Like, if I went here and I got two of these for $6, I would be nowhere close to full. And that's crazy. I was wondering what would happen if I did this with something else. So, if you get a Taco Bell soft taco, which comes with beef and cheese, and add pico, it comes up to $2.39. That's pretty much what this is. Just do that. Like, this is stupid for price, but I love the way it tastes. Like, I think adding pico is a game changer, and if I went to Taco Bell from now on, I would put pico on my tacos. I'm like, I like that a lot. Again, it's not the best quality pico that you get, but I'm at fucking Taco Bell. Like, who cares? That's fire to me. That and a couple of sauces? Dope. Fast food, I'll give it an eight. I'm like, the thing I ate the most of. Next up, we have the 90s Gordita Supreme, which comes with lettuce, tomato, sour cream, cheese and of course their ground beef now again i'm not the biggest fan of their ground beef but for nostalgia's sake when i did eat their ground beef i did get it the best thing about this to me again is it seems a little bit more affordable than a lot of taco bell items recently because it's 2.99 and that's pretty cool the gordita was a popular item in the 90s when i was a kid it tastes like taco bell like this i'm not mad at let's go with a little dish of hot sauce though there we go. I told you, I'm a big fan of this sauce. I said every time I go to Taco Bell, I'm going to get it. And I, I've said this a bunch of times now, Taco Bell's come back around for me. The ground beef makes this hella soggy. We all know that, though. I know I don't get lettuce, but it's still the ground beef that makes everything soggy for me. The gordita is something that exists in the cheesy gordita crunch. Again, the biggest thing for me, it just seems like it's cheaper because they're taking ingredients out. I'm not necessarily like, I don't mind that. That's the biggest draw for me. For example... The Doritos Locos Taco Supreme at my Taco Bell is $3.59. This is $2.99. And it seems like more food. That's pretty much it. The Gordita Wrapper is that soft flatbread you get in the Cheesy Gordita Crunch. Um, it's existed before. It's something that I've had already. I'm not saying I wouldn't eat it. I just... It's Taco Bell. And it tastes like Taco That's a big-ass Amazon truck. It tastes like Taco Bell. I feel like reviewing this is okay because I think it's decent, but if you clicked on this video, there's a high probability you like Taco Bell. Everybody else knows what Taco Bell tastes like. This tastes like Taco Bell. Okay, Taco Bell. I'll give it a six out of 10. Dope idea, dope concept. You're, you're In this case, I'm not expecting them to do anything different because you're paying homage to what has made you since you started Taco Bell. So I'm not gonna diss it on thing. I just tried it and said, was it good or not? Um, it, you just went to show me that Taco Bell has been kind of doing the same crazy stuff for years. And they probably didn't serve, like, meat, that mystery meat at their locations until later. Because there's no meat on either of those. Um, bean burritos are popular, especially, like, in California and stuff like that. Not really here. Well, I think it's cool. I think some of the stuff is overpriced. But it's nice to see. The more stuff you can do at Taco Bell, the better. Because, again, it's Mad Libs. And at least you can get something personalized the way you want it. But with the implementation now of the apps... I feel like it's unnecessary because you could make all that stuff anyway. But cool concept from Taco Bell. I like the fact that they're trying. I really do. I've been giving them their flowers. And they've now come out with one of one of my favorite things on the menu, which I did get. I had to get it again because I know it's going to not be here. Yeah. Now, I did make a couple of changes just to see what it would be like. But this is their cheese it burrito. Uh, burrito. They're, this is their cheese it crunch wrap. I've had it. Every time I've gone to Taco Bell since, and it's become one of my favorite things in fast food. 
I don't know what it is about adding that cheese it to what this crunch wrap is, but let me take a bite and then I'll show you what I got on the inside that's a little bit different. I just, this, that bite, what all that cheese is inside. Normally I get those with fries. This time I didn't. What I did was I added jalapenos and instead of fries, I added their seasoned rice. Jalapenos, yes. Rice, fries are better. But this thing's so good now. It's crazy. It's also just because I'm a cheese it aholic now. I'm sure they had to pay cheese it for the rights to use this or whatever they did, so they can't have it forever. But I wish they did because the regular crunch wrap doesn't hit for me like this. I said this last time, but taking the lettuce out and taking the beef out, it just makes this way less soggy than I always had it. That's so good. I gotta get one more bite with that jalapeno part because that looked way too good and way too seasoned. The jalapeno was what it was missing. A little bit more spicy. I like my food to have a little spice to it. That's it. My other one's still better, but I'm adding jalapenos to it. I'll give this an eight. The other one's a nine. I hope y'all know I'm not lying when I say I really like this because I've done like four Taco Bell videos in the last month, which is probably as many as I've done on this channel altogether. And I've gotten this every single time because I like it so much. That's how you know I don't be lying. Certain things when they come out, I get them every time. Nick's lemon and garlic at Wingstop. This crunch wrap. Shakaroni at Papa John's. There's another one that's coming out soon, which I'm gonna go get. I'm not the biggest fan of McDonald's recently, but I like their spicy nuggets with that mighty sauce. If they have that mighty sauce, I'm gone. I gotta get it. So I know most of y'all have been watching long enough to know this. I don't be making this stuff up. When I like stuff, I like it. If I don't. I don't. And Taco Bell has just had a massive turnaround for me, which is just, I, I still can't believe it. I've had a very long taxing day, had some stuff that I had to take care of. And when I have stuff to talk about, I always start yapping. Today is not one of those days for me, and I'll never be one of the type that's just going to make up a topic just so I can talk about it. So I'm going to go get my workout in. Yes, I work out after I eat at Taco Bell and places like this. I know people are like, how do you do it? I, I number one, don't know. And number two, I don't eat all the food. I don't eat that much that it like bothers me. So I'm not remotely full right now. When you actually add up the bites I took, it's not like I sat here and ate like every, if I would have sat here and ate like, you know, everything and I don't. So I'm not full right now. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? I understand where people are coming from, but it's different from my perspective as a creator when people are like, oh, you know, you eat all this food. I'm just like, I don't know. They're like, oh, I would have went back and got my food. I don't need to. This is a review. It is not a meal. That was a meal. That was for me. The other thing else was a review. Um, but I don't eat food on the channel to like get full or for what I'm doing it for to to make content. So when people yesterday a bunch of comments were like, I went back and gotten my food. It was a gift card that I didn't like. If it was my money, I probably still wouldn't have went back. I've done that done a million times. Again, I don't look at food the same way that other people do. I'm not going to waste the food, but if they didn't give it to me, like me turning around, driving another 15 minutes, I might go there, they, they, they have to get my food or whatever it is, it's not worth the amount of time that it would take to have the other food get cold. Like I'm trying to film stuff. So for me, it's just pointless. So I don't do that. Um, I get if I was just like eating food and chilling, it would be different, but this is not what this is. Perspective of a person that wouldn't be making videos of their stuff, I do agree, go get your food back. But for me, I don't, it doesn't matter to me. I, I'm No matter what, the way that this happens, and I'm not saying this as a flex or anything like that, but I give away the food that I don't eat, of course, because I don't like wasting food, but the cost is not why I do it. Like, I know that when I do stuff at this point that I will at least get my money back because you guys watched the video. It's not like that for me, especially with that gift card. And 
I'm never going back in that Buffalo Wild Wings again. My face was plastered all over the internet. I know they contacted that branch because they told me they did. And I'm not going back in there because I don't want to look at them. All right. I did that for the sake of making content. I don't want to alienate myself from the closest B-dubs to me because I want to make videos for you guys. So I wanted to see if the food was legit. And it was. They forgot my food, but that wasn't the point of the video anyway. So I hope y'all understand that. I feel like I over explained myself so much and people still be like, well, I don't care. I don't tell y'all, bro. I just be telling y'all from my perspective what it is. But if it was you, go get your damn food back because that's your dinner. That's not my dinner. I had grilled chicken and broccoli and I had a uh, 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 three cups of air popped popcorn. And that's what I had for dinner yesterday. That was my dinner. Not this. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me go to the gym, man. I, I said I have to yap and I'm still yapping. We'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. A hand signs. They made it to YouTube.